simplify the following expression. Okay, with rational expressions like this, uh, we want to see if anything cancels uh, right off the bat. Now, in this case, uh, there isn't anything that immediately cancels. So the next thing we need to do, notice there is a division, and uh, it's a division of a fraction. So that's uh, the same as inverse multiplication. So we want to flip uh, the fraction on the right. Uh, so let's rewrite that. So times, now it's going to be x squared plus 10x plus 24 on the top and the x squared plus 6x plus 8 is going to go on the bottom. Okay, so the next step we want to take is we're going to factor anything that can be factored. And then once we have factored everything, hopefully lots of things will cancel out. So let's do the factoring here. So in the first fraction, um, we have 5x squared minus 20 of 5 factors out. So I'm going to write it as 5 times x squared minus 4. over 25x squared. Now the second fraction, uh, we can factor that into the top and bottom is factorable, so we're going to factor that um, is um, x plus 6 and x plus 4 on top. And on the bottom it's x plus 4 and x plus 2. Uh, now already at this stage some uh, stuff cancels. Um, the x plus 4 on top and bottom. Now we still need to factor one more thing. We need to factor the x squared minus 4 and that's a difference of squares. So Let's factor here. Oh, we can cancel one more thing before we do the factoring. We can cancel the 5 with the 25. That, uh, that gives us 5 on the bottom. So uh, now we're going to factor this. So the difference of squares is x plus 2 times x minus 2. On the bottom, since we just uh, canceled some stuff, we have 5x squared. And then we have times... Um, x plus 6, and on the bottom we have x plus 2. Now notice from our difference of squares, we have that factor x plus 2. We can cancel that with the x plus 2 on the bottom. So what remains is x minus 2 times x plus 6 on the top over x squared. That's all you can do and we cannot factor that anymore or cancel anything else. So we're done with this problem. Now to simplify this uh, next problem, uh, we have this uh, big fraction but within uh, the top and the bottom we also have some fractions but to, to simplify this we first need to create one fraction on top and the bottom because then we can use inverse multiplication. So um, let's uh, figure out this fraction. So on top the common denominator between the x over y and the 1 is y. So we have to multiply the, y, uh, the 1 times y over y. So we have x over y plus y over y. We do the same kind of thing on the bottom. We have the 1 minus x over y. So the, again, the common denominator is y. So again, multiply the 1 times y over y minus x over y. Okay, so now we're going to rewrite the top and the bottom as one fraction each. So we have x plus y over y. And on the bottom we have y minus x over y. Okay, now is the point where we can inverse multiply. So we have x plus y over y times y over y minus x. 
Now, since we now have this multiplication of two fractions, we can cancel the y on top and the y on the bottom. And so the remaining stuff is x plus y over y minus x. And that does not simplify anymore.